Hi everybody, I'm Lian Duan. Today we are going to Helm 3 chart dependencies. The topics I'm going through these videos are What is chart dependencies? How to add chart dependencies? And a demo. First topic, what is dependencies? In previous video, I demoed install three tiers application with the Helm 3. The three tier includes front-end, back-end, and DB layer. The front-end is dependent on back-end API. The back-end API is dependent on the DB layer. The three layers have seven YAML files, and all seven YAML files are in templates folder. In the real world, the API layer will increase multiple API apps, or other word, multiple microservices. Also, the UI layer has multiple apps. That means number of YAML files will explosion. How do we handle it? The answer is Helm 3 dependencies. The Helm charts store their dependencies in the charts folder. The dependency command is able to use the add dependencies chart into the charts folder. I introduced the concept of Helm 3 dependencies. Second topic, how to add chart dependencies. There are three steps. First step, use Helm create command to create dependencies charts. Second step, add dependencies detail into dependent chart.yaml file. There is an example. Dependencies side has three fields. Name, repository, and version. Name must equal to dependent chart name. For example, my app backend Spring Boot app. Repository has two types, local file and full URL to the chart repository. In my case, it's a local file. The format is slash slash dot dot slash plus chart name. By the way, in Helm 2, dependency information are in requirements.yaml file. While in Helm 3, the dependency part is in the chart YAML file. Third step, run dependency command to store dependency chart into the root chart folder. The command are helm dependent build. The command used to generate and store dependent helm chart in the charts folder. Helm dependency list used to check current dependencies chart. Helm dependencies update used to update existing chart. We have to update dependencies chart to new version. Third topic for the video, demo. How to use Helm 3 dependencies with three tier application. Log into my Linux box. Go to my app v file folder. If you not exist, please create in your local. First, let me create three charts. Helm create my app backend db redis. And then create my app backend Spring Boot app. Latest create my app front end React app. This is the root chart for my demo. Root chart means I will add DB layer and the Spring Boot app as dependencies on the chart. And then change each chart version. Go to each chart YAML file. File.0.0. .0. Do the same change in other two charts. Next step, clean up existing file under the templates folder. In the future, I will add them back. For now, just delete it.
Following step, copy my app v4 template files into the three charts. Copy two DB related YAML file to the my app backend DB Redis chart. Copy to templates. And then copy three Spring Boot related YAML file to my app backend Spring Boot app chart. Next step, copy two front end dot yaml file to my app front end React app chart. Following steps, add dependencies into chart dot yaml file of my app front end React app. Copy to button. There are two dependencies or add. One is a my app backend Spring Boot app. The repository flavor is local file. File slash slash dot slash my app backend Spring Boot app. Second is my app backend DB Redis. Same config as backend Spring Boot app. Go to my app front-end folder and then run help dependencies build folder parameter is current so it's dot the command will generate tar file under the my app front-end react app charts folder next run help dependency list to check dependencies. There are two records. Let me check the tar file. There are two tar files. And then install release. Command is helm install release name my minor app. Folder is current. Namespace is QA minor env. Create namespace means if namespace is not exist, create the naming space. Wait means the command line waiting for all the resources created successfully and then render result on the command line. Command running successfully. Add two domain name to host file. Retrieve minikube IP. Uh, next, check host file. If the host file already has the two record, we're good. If not, just edit. Record already in there. The record were added previous video. We're good. Latest steps, verify release result. Remote login to my Linux box. Open Minikube dashboard. Go to QA minor env namespace to check the result. All results created successfully. Verify UI part. The UI access URL is www.helm3training.com UI apps running. If you want to do more testing, you can follow previous video steps. All topics are completed. Let me summarize. Today we learned what is Helm 3 dependencies and a demo how to add Helm 3 dependencies. Thank you for you watch the video. I hope it was help and it was. 
Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear, if you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.